Hi guys! Today I lines show you how to do a stunning motion graphic menu for pizza restaurant on Canva. Open up Canva app, click on new project and select video. Select a color for background, you can pick any color that suit with your theme. Next we move to cover page. We have to get people attention to this page so I just select one photo and make it big. I selected this photo, then go to edit image and choose delete background, and then we crop the photo to take out the empty space of the photo. We add a shadow for this image. Go to element search for shadow select black oval gradient, resize and drag its layer under a pizza image and adjust transparency around 15%. I want to add more element to make my pizza stand out. I will go with lemon to make the color contrast. I like this lemon with some green leaves that gives fresh looking. Resize it, put it in front of the pizza image. Now we move to typography for this cover page. First we add a name of the restaurant. Select the font for it. I want this name run across the page so copy and paste many times. Then change the color to white and add effects for this text. Choose neon style. Then go to layer drag this text under the pizza images layer. Now we add a title for this page. My title of course pizza. Give it black color and make it bold. Place it on the left and align to the bottom of the brand's name. Move it up a little bit to make a space for subtitle. Next we add a subtitle for this page. This subtitle. I want a different font style, with a bigger font size. I would like to add more decoration to make page the look more interesting. I'm adding the a bar under subtitle and add icon and some text. We are done with cover page, now move to details pages. Let's take a look what we have on detail page. We a big pizza slide on the top corner. A pizza's name slide from left to right. A list of pizza for each day at the bottom, an ingredient list sliding on the right. Let's get start. First I select pizza's image for my list from the library. Clear background of pizza's image and resize it. Now I am making a white circle, then place pizzas on this circle. Drag layer of white circle under all pizzas layer. Make sure all pizzas image have same size. Make sure the gap between each pizzas image big enough for them to show one image when we slide. Group all pizza's image and the circle in one group. Then move it to the top left corner. Try to ration the circle with pizza's images. Make sure just one pizza's image show up for each page. Move to the pizza list from Monday to Friday. Copy pizza's image that we have on the circle for this list. Or you can reselect from library. Select all of small pizza's images, then go to position, choose arrange, and select tidy up. 
This help align those images and each image has same gap between them. Adding a date under each pizza. To make the pizza of the day standing out, I give it a white background and a bigger image. Also make the date bigger and bold. Move to pizza name. Remember this we're going to make it slide from left to right. After we done with font size and style for the pizza's name, move it to the same level with the big pizza's image. Select pizza's name, then go to top menu choose animate. From the left menu choose baseline. Drag the speed all the way left and select left to right arrow. To add more information about pizza, let's say customer want to know this pizza low crab and vegetarian or not. This depend on your design, you may have it or not, or you may want this information longer. Also, you may need icon or not, it totally depend on your design. Choose the text, click on animate from the left menu seal baseline. This time I want it slide from top down and the speed is zero. Because this is additional information, oh, I want it show after pizza's name. Click on low crab layer, then click on show timing. We will see the timeline for each layer. Drag timeline of low crab's layer to show after pizza's name and do same for vegetarian layer. We are moving to ingredient part. First we create a white background for Adding header for ingredient menu. Select font size and change color for it. Then adding text content for it. At this stage I need time for search for ingredient for each pizza. So I speed the video up. Now I have ingredient for all my pizza. As you remember we want it slide from the right. So group all of ingredient into one group and place ingredient for the first pizza into the white box that we prepared in the last step. We want to hide all the text that show outside of the white box. So I create a box that of same color with the background and place it left and right of the white box. Then move layers of those boxes, ingredient text and white background all the way down next to the main background layer. Duplicate the pizza page. Now we move to second pizza. First rotate to second pizza, changing the piazza's name. Slide the ingredient menu for second pizza. Move to Tuesday on the pizza list. Now we apply transitions for pages. From the first pages use flow transitions and select flow from bottom up. Between pizza pages I use match and move transition style. Adjust the time for each to three point. 
six second then transitions time around one point to second. Testing it makes sure that everything runs smooth and as you want. Now do the same for other pizza pages. So at this step, I will jump to the last page of pizza. Now, we are moving to end pages for this video. Duplicate pizza's page keep all small pizza's images and the white background of ingredient area. Also the brand name. Delete all other's elements. Resize pizza's images and align them with tidy up. Move them to middle of the page. Now resize the white background become a thin bar under pizza's images. Duplicate this page. We want pizza move out of the page. We want them move into different direction. Now move to the last page. Duplicate previous page again. Then delete all just heat one brand's name. Move it into mid aisle of the page and make it big. Give it an effects of glitch. Adding slogan for this restaurant. I want to make it circle and rotation around the brand's name. Select slogan. A effect menu select curve. Slide the curve bar to make circle. On the top menu choose animate. From the left menu select rotate. We are all done. Now let's test it again to see if anything that we want to correct.